Yo, what is up guys? Delboy here. So as far as I'm concerned, Canelo Alvarez versus Gennady Golovkin is still the biggest and best fight to make at £160, despite them having fought twice already. In the last couple of months, the middleweight division has become a bit of a mess. Obviously, Jamal Charlo becoming the full WBC champion and Canelo being upgraded to franchise champion. Whatever that means, Canelo being stripped of his IBF title, Billy Joe Saunders and Danny Jacobs moving to £168. For me, the division right now is a bit of a mess and it needs a shot in the arm. And to me, Canelo Alvarez versus Gennady Golovkin 3 would be that shot in the arm. And for me, it's still the biggest and best fight in the middleweight division. Ultimately, this fight has it all, in my opinion. First and foremost, stylistically, it's a great fight. We've seen two great fights already, but there's history between these two guys. There's over four years history at this point, from when Canelo Alvarez first moved to £160. The fight was talked about back then. Then came Canelo beating Miguel Cotto, and then vacating his WBC middleweight title to avoid Golovkin. Then we finally got the fight made, the controversy of the first fight and the scoring. The rematch then got made and, you know, in the build-up to the second fight, Canelo Alvarez tested dirty for a banned substance. The rematch got rescheduled again and the second fight was an ultra-close back-and-forth fight that was brilliant to watch. And, you know, since then, these two guys still go back-and-forth bickering in the media. The rivalry is there, the history is there, the track record is there, we've seen two great fights already and I'm sure they will deliver a third great fight. This is still the best fight in the middleweight division. I mean, would I like to see Demetrius Andrade versus Canelo or Gennady Golovkin? Of course, both really good fights and both fights I would be interested in, but do those potential fights raise the same excitement level as Golovkin versus Canelo 3? For me, no. Absolutely not. As for Jamal Charlo, I mean, at 160, the guy's not really done much. In his last two fights, he struggled. You know, he looked poor against Brandon Adams and arguably lost to Matt Korobov. Would I like a fight between Jamal Charlo and Golovkin or Canelo? Of course, but again, if you are asking me what I would prefer, I'm taking the third Canelo Golovkin fight, if I'm being honest. That's the fight I'm taking because I know that will deliver. Ultimately, Jamal Charlo and Demetrius Andrade are still quite unproven in the middleweight division. Andrade is coming off some good form, he's putting some wins together. I was impressed with his performance against Soletsky, but he needs to do more. In reality, Andrade and Jamal Charlo really need to square off. That would be a great fight between two Americans and the winner of that fight then has something to cluck about. But right now these guys are on the periphery and they're not making things happen. They are waiting for things to happen for them. They're not going out and actively being proactive and going out there to get it. You know, they're waiting for things to happen rather than forcing them to happen. You know, the only other guy who really tried to make a genuine assault at the top of the middleweight division was Danny Jacobs. You know, he's done some work other than waiting for Golovkin and Canelo. He beat Peter Quillen, who was unbeaten. He knocked him out. He beat the unbeaten Seletsky. He beat the unbeaten Sergei Derevinchenko. You know, Danny Jacobs in the past three to four years has been the only other middleweight who's really tried to force the issue. All of his other guys have messed around and they haven't done enough. I believe Andrade is trying, but right now, you know, he's he needs to do more as far as I'm concerned. You know, if you look at the last couple of years, you know, guys like Billy Joe Saunders, for example, he was in a great position, but he didn't want the big fights and the division basically passed him by. When he was finally ready, Golovkin and Canelo were basically in the process of fighting each other twice. Essentially, Canelo Alvarez and Gennady Golovkin have held down the division 
in the last few years, so why should that change now? They're the guys who are at the top of the tree. Let's get this fight on. It's still the best fight in the middleweight division, and it's still the biggest fight in the division. So as far as I'm concerned, they need to make this fight as soon as possible. Gennady Golovkin has been ordered to fight Sergei Dervinchenko for the vacant IBF middleweight title. That's a good fight. Hopefully that gets made. I've got no idea what Canelo is doing. You know, he got stripped. He's not happy. He's considering taking legal action against his promoter because they signed an agreement on his behalf. So I'm not sure what's going to happen there. But ultimately, these two guys need to fight each other sooner rather than later while Golovkin still has something left at the elite level because it's the best fight in the middleweight division even now. Maybe that's a damning indictment to the rest of the middleweight division who really haven't done much in the past few years. That's excluding Danny Jacobs like I mentioned. But that's my two cents. I would like to see Canelo Alvarez face Gennady Golovkin for a third time and I would rather see it sooner rather than later. Again, there's some other good fights to be made, you know, like I said, but Golovkin versus Canelo 3 is the best fight. Share your thoughts below. Peace.